It's time to tame that frizzy, funky, downright wacky hair. She has no idea what her own father really looks like. You see my husband walking through the woods? I think they spotted Bigfoot. We have Joanne here. And we have Joanne and her 14-year-old daughter, Bessie. Now, Joanne is married to a man named Nelson. Here is Nelson. I mean, is that a mountain man or what? He has been covered in hair since the day they met. No matter how much she begs, Nelson has refused to cut any of his hair. So why has Joanne gotten so lucky that Nelson has agreed to come here today? Well, because of daughter Bessie, who called the show and told us she has no idea what her own father really looks like. And so she's begged us to give him a makeover. Now, you, what do you, you can, Bessie, you can't remember? This is it? This yeah. is the only memory you have of your father? Yep. Did he ever scare you? Yeah, quite a few times. All right. Now, Joanne, I mean, is he a mountain man? I mean, oh, yeah. he looks oh, yeah. like one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's been that way for the whole time I've been married, 20 years to him. Okay, so and, this uh, is what happened. We spent some time with you and Nelson mm -hmm. so we could see for ourselves what you're talking about. So watch this. My husband hasn't cut his hair or shaved his beard in over 30 years. I don't even remember what he looks like under all that hair. I have a 14-year-old daughter named Bessie who's never even seen her father's face. My husband loves the woods and he loves to fish, but I'm always finding disgusting things in his beard. Ew, what a worm! When he casts his rod, he usually ends up catching something himself. When people see my husband walking through the woods, they think they've spotted Bigfoot. Maury, my husband hasn't had a tooth in his head for over 20 years, and he loves it. Please, Maury, it's been 20 years. Please help me remember what my husband looks like. Well, let's meet him in person. Here's Nelson. Nelson, come on out. Here's Nelson. Have a seat, no Nelson. Problem. There you going? Would you? Well, I'll tell you something. At least it's softer than this other crowd. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Except for spend, here, of course. I have to yeah. spend 10 minutes just getting his hair ready every morning. You have to do have his, to hair? his hair? He can't oh, yeah, his he doesn't hair. hair. They have no idea what you look like. We don't, know, we don't have a clue. I don't you have a, either after about 30 years. I was going to say, why'd you do this? Well, I get it caught up a lot in the fishing lines. I get it a fire when I ride can't my motorcycle. So why didn't you just cut it? Well, really, you want to know the truth, just to meet you, Murray. Oh, come uh, on. Oh, yeah. You've been waiting, 30, reason, but, I'm waiting 30 years to meet me? I watch you every day at uh, 11 o'clock and at 1 o'clock on Channel 2 in Denver. Every day. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. You can ask her. You can ask her. If it's not, if you I like fishing, shows. only person well, you'll, li you'll lose to, if it's good fishing, I have to go fishing. Okay, I understand yeah, that. That's it. All right, so... It was your daughter who called the show. Were you surprised at that, Nelson? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was your daughter. She'd never seen you any other way. No, she, I scare her once. Well, I scare all her friends, too. They think I'm her grandpa. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you. You really have hooked your hair? Oh, yeah, I've hooked my hair a lot of times. I've really? hooked my What's hair. What's that feel like? Hair. Did what? What's that feel like? Feels, uh, it's real hard to get out if you got a good fishing hook. In. I know, I know that. You have to cut off a little of your hair, and you don't want to do that. Right. But Joanne, I mean, you got to kiss that. I mean, the beard. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what it's like to kiss anybody without a beard. Have you ever found After his lips years. yet? I mean, come there on. There is somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is right. somewhere. Kind of hard to find sometimes. And do pe what do people call him when they see him? Or they know? Uh, grizzly. <laughs> grizzly. Oh yeah. Oh okay. All right. So it's over 30 years, Nelson. You ready it's for been this? About 30 years. Okay. We've got more. It's coming close to that time. We'll be back right now. Okay, so far we've got a great record. We've answered the prayers of our guests on their makeover dreams. We took their wild, crazy hair people who they love dearly and transformed them, and we've saved the best for last. Who could forget Nelson? Look at this mountain man. Look at Nelson. I mean, Nelson was unbelievable. I mean, his wife Joanne and daughter Bessie were desperate to tame his extreme mountain look. We also wanted... Guess what else they want to do? They wanted to improve his smile because Nelson doesn't have, he hadn't had a tooth in his mouth for 20 years. So that's the way he looked before. You ready to see him? You, bet, you, you ready? You're, you ready, ready for this? I think I'm ready. I don't know. Nelson, come on out.
in a different way? Yeah. Yeah. Stand over here. Right. Stand over wow. here. Now, Nelson. <laughs> yes, sir. I want you to give everybody. I want you to give everybody the biggest smile you can give everybody. Yeah. Hey. Thanks, Kamari. There you go. Yeah. Where did you find this huh? Where did you find this person? Like going to be sleeping cool. with a stranger, right? Be like, yeah. No, okay. I hope so. Going to be great. You look great, Nelson. Thanks, all right. Lori. We got a lot of people to thank. Stand up here. We want to thank uh, Richard Calcasola, his crew from Maxima Salon. They did all of the hair on all of these women and Nelson. Were you nervous when you saw them? When we saw Nelson, we got a little nervous, but then Cleo did a great job of taking it all down and right. getting a nice clean look. Now, he was pretty cool with it. Now, Richard, thanks so much. Susie, Susie Israelson, our staff designer. Well, what do you think? I hope Joanne doesn't mind, but the new Nelson has promised to take me fishing. Oh, really? <laughs> I love these guys who are fishermen. They're great. They look great. They Terrific. Look Thank you yeah. so much. I want to tell you, everybody, you look great. You came here for something new. Boy, did you get a whole new body and a whole new person, huh?